I'm drowning. I so icy, wonder why she like me. I'm drowning. Water, I just bought a cube and dipped it in the fountain. Everywhere that I go, it's a light show. I'm surrounded. What's up, YouTube? <laughs> I'm going to be showing y'all how to do the blanket transition on iOS. Now, if you want the Android tutorial, comment down below Android tutorial and I will do that. So, without further ado, let's start with the video. So, in order to do the blanket transition, you're going to need a couple apps, but technically you're not, they're not apps you're going to get because you already have them on your phone. So, yeah. And if you guys want the Android tutorial, once again, just comment down below, Android tutorial, and I'll do that. But the app show need is TikTok, iMovie, and, um, that's it, TikTok, iMovie. This is my king. So first thing you're going to do is go to TikTok and pick the sound that you want. I want to give you all a tip, maybe some of you already knew this. Um, probably most of y'all knew it already because it's really not a tip. But what you need to do is press magnifying glass and go to the search bar and go to hashtags and look up blanket transition. Um, this has the best sounds on it and you know which one's the blanket transition because it says 14.1k users on it or more but, uh, that's the blanket transition one. And, uh, once you're on it, it will look like this. Uh, there's, you can watch the videos and see which one you like, but this is the one I like. Pick a side, pick a side. Nah. Oh my God. So that's the one I like. So when you want the sound, just press the little disc in the, at the bottom. Press the red button. And then you, you can record anything random. It doesn't matter. Um... It doesn't really matter what you record because it will be saved to our privates. Um, so this won't be put it publicly. So you can do like a black screen or just put it on 0 0.1 Pick a side, pick a side. Nah. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It doesn't matter. So yeah. And then just pick a side. Just press next at the bottom. And then you're just gonna press who can view my video and then press private. At the bottom next to Twitter is a little arrow with the box. Um, you could just press that and it will turn red. Once you've done that, just press post at the bottom. And then it will be saved to your Hello? Private. So, then you're just gonna wait for it to load. Sometimes they take like 10 seconds, sometimes they take like 0 0.5 seconds. Um, and once it's uploaded, it will show that. So then you're just gonna go to the private. So you're gonna press on the private. So you can either just leave it alone on your page or you can delete it. I'm going to delete it because like I don't need it in my feed anymore. So once you either delete it or kept it, just go to your camera and you're just gonna wanna press on slow mo and you can just uh put it in a steady place. Now you can put on the flash or not if you don't want to, but I like to use the flash because it has best lighting. So, yeah. And sadly, slip mode's only on the back, so you can just turn your phone around and put it into a steady place. So, I'm going to put mine right there. So, you're just going to turn your phone around on your screen. Please don't crack your phone. So, um, just put it on somewhere steady, um, or you can have somebody holding your phone and, like, record it. And there are two ways you can do this, I forgot to mention, is that you could either memorize the sound or you can take another device and put that same musically on and listen to it. So once you've either done any of those, you're just going to take a blanket. Um, you can take any blanket, um, it doesn't really matter. If you're doing the change transition, change like blanket transition, I'll do that in my next video because it's kind of more complicated. So just do something like I am doing. So, just like you can slip sync to the sound and then do it, or just say nothing and then do it. It doesn't really matter what you do. Now, if your blanket is really long like mine, you can fold it. You can do whatever you want. So, on this, fold it or just kept alone because maybe your blanket is short. But just record kind of like what I'm doing. So, here's what mine looks like. So, I like to wait a couple seconds because... Um, 
at the end. You never know. Your voice might get cut off or something. You never know. Something might happen. And your weave might fall off. I'm just kidding. Um, so, just wait for that. And then, once you're done recording, just turn your phone around and stop the red button. Then go up the square at the bottom where you had your video. So, just go there. And then, go on the video that you just did. And at the bottom, there's like a trash and stuff and there was edit just press edit and it'll take you to this page so then you're there's a big white line by the beginning so just move that to somewhere else and then there's a black uh rectangle and a white a triangle at the beginning move that first one to where you started talking and the video so just crop to where you started talking i started talking around here and then take the other one at the end and crop it to where you stopped so i stopped to zoom on about here and then press done in the corner when you're done so press done and then save as new clip then it's gonna save that then you can press the arrow at on there and press on the same video you can delete the other one that you had not cropped and stuff or you just keep it as a matter then press edit at the bottom on that same video that you just cropped and then there's gonna be like a, white, a bunch of white ticks at the top with like bigger white lines on the sides. Move that first big line in the beginning and move that to you want to start your slow mo. So I want my slow mo to start about there. Mm, maybe there. Uh, so just put it to where you want to start your slow mo. Mm. And then take the one at the end, the bigger one at the end, to where you want to stop your slow-mo. But I just want my slow-mo to stay like the whole video. So I put it all the way at the end. But you can just move it to somewhere else you want to. It doesn't matter. Then press it done in the corner. And that's pretty much your um, musically. But now we need to go to iMovie to make sure that our words and our slow-mo uh, go perfectly with the lip syncs and stuff. So now you're just going to go into iMovie. So once you're in iMovie, look like this. So just, I'm gonna put that there. Press a the little plus in the corner and then press movie. And then press your slow-mo that you did and then press create movie at the bottom. So then it's gonna say a long time at the end, like 24.3 seconds, but it doesn't really matter because we'll just crop that out. So then you have your video. So then press the plus at the corner and then press video, press recently added. And then press your private musically right there and then there's going to be a plus like a play sign in the three dots press the three dots and then by the three dots is like little lines and then like a plus on it just press that and that extract the audio from that musically so that it will just show the sound so you can just play it and make sure that it's on time so i'm just gonna play mine and make sure that it's on time uh, if yours isn't, I'll show how. Pick a side, pick a side. Nah. So mine is pretty good. I mean, sometimes in iMovie, it like changes the slow mo that you did in your camera roll way earlier than you did. So you can, if you want to change that, just press your clip, and right by the scissors, like a little timer. So just put that, and then by that big white line that you had is like a yellow thing. Just move that over to where you want to start your slow mo. So just move it over. So I want mine to start about here. So then click anywhere besides the black bar. So that, and then that will be your new slow mo right there. Pick a side, pick a side. Nah. Oh my god. Um, you can fix it or you don't have to, cause some most phones uh do that, but some phones don't. So watch yours is like that. So if your clip, if your lip sync is too early, you could just like press your clip and then press the little like yellow, like big yellow square and just move that over. Or if yours is too late, you can just split like the scene and then uh, press the little timer and make it go faster so that um, it will be on time. And if yours is really bad, you might have to start over. Or get another device to listen to the music to. Because sometimes the videos are unfixable. But no, most of the time, they're fixable. So, if you have extra clip like mine, just press on your clip. And then press split. And then press delete. 
so I did that. And then just press down in the corner and at the bottom is like a square and an arrow. And then right next to save to files is save video. Remember guys, just keep on fixing it and if it does not, if the words are still off. So then press HD 720p and then it will save it. So remember if it's really off and it's like not unfixable, you might have to start over. And then press OK when it's done. So yeah, so once you're just done, press OK. You're just gonna go to TikTok, okay, musically, and it'll take you to this page. Press the plus at the bottom with like blue and red on the sides, and then right underneath three X is a square. So just press that square, and then at the very bottom is your slow mo. So let's press that. Pick a side, pick a side. Nah. Oh my God. Oh my God. On top of the red thing and turn around, but I don't need to do that. So just press next. You can add effects and stuff, but I'm not gonna do that. So then just press the little uh, arrow with the box again and just redo that so that it doesn't save to your camera again. Then you can just post it and you're pretty good to go. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, you can also add effects on Video Star if you want to, but I'll do another tutorial on that um, in the next video. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment down below if this helped. And yeah. So goodbye.